Welcome to a travel day vlog where I'm leaving the country for the first time in my entire life. I'm incredibly excited, but here's how my morning started. If it looks like I was crying, it's because I was. If it looks like I didn't sleep, it's because I didn't. And we are sending all the positive energies out for today. Be really good and in my favor. But we push on, grab some Starbies, and hit the road. Did I mention airports both confuse and stress me out? airport in Orlando. I'm hopefully going to get all my problems fixed. I have so much to get you up on. Like why I've been crying, why I'm still stressed, why everything. So when I get a second slash when I get it all figured out, which I don't think I can do until I'm in LA, we'll let you guys know. I just wanted to jump in here because I don't think I ever told you guys that I was waiting until I get to my destination to actually tell you what happened and why I was crying at the beginning of this video. So if you don't see that for the rest of the video, that's why. But the next vlog does tell you what happened. Again, I'm so sorry. I was very unorganized and very chaotic on this travel day. So please forgive me. And if you're interested in hearing that story, make sure you check out the next vlog. Make sure you're subscribed so you see it come up in your feed. But also I will leave it down in the description for you as well. All right, proceed, continue back to the vlog. But in the meantime, enjoy the travel content, enjoy the plane stuff. Wish me luck, by the way. Good vibes, please, good vibes here. I could really use a change of scenery. Yeah. Everybody's smoking all the greenery. Yeah. Close the match because they were handed down to me. But I'm still fly, I'm still fly, I know. I'm still fly, I'm still fly, let's go. It could all be worse, I could be a hater like you. We are boarding our first plane and I am flying Delta for the first time and I absolutely love it. First, we have to touch the outside of the plane for good luck, but also, did you see the sign? Free Wi-Fi on board. Thank goodness. Not to mention, they have so many programs available to watch for free as well. They have great titles like Perry Mason, Schitt's Creek, and even White Lotus, which I totally would have watched, but they only had season two and I wanted to start on season one. So I decided to try The Last of Us, which isn't usually my go-to, but it was really good and how serendipitous that the date on the show is the same day that I'm traveling right now. Another feature I really loved is this flight tracker. I'm a very anxious flyer and knowing exactly where we are in flight is so nice. Also, I can see how far I am from my final, final destination. Hey now, honey, I've been driving around in my car Looking for some kind of open bar It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright Got no money, but I'll work it out with my charm Having a good time and doing no harm It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright Honey, I've been driving around in my car Looking for some kind of open bar It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright Got no money, but I'll work it out with my charm Having a good time and doing no harm It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright just got off my first flight and I have to tell you guys that the first thing I saw was an Alfred's And I was like, wait, I've always wanted to try Alfred's I think spinners were the best invention since ever. Look at this. When I have to pull it and like lean it, it's like 30 pounds. This is so nice. Also, I'm in LA. And like, so think about the vibe here. The fact that I'm only in the airport and I'm still getting the vibe. <laughs> like, it's kind of like if you've ever been to the Vegas airport, it's a vibe. <laughs> So I went to the international terminal at LAX and then I had to walk all the way over to another terminal to get a problem fix and I'm walking back to the international terminal and I'm on those little like walkie escalator conveyor belts and I can't help but feel like I'm playing Sonic when I go on them because then it's like speed boost, you know, the little arrow things that like speed you forward, you know.
losing my job over you But I don't care about that But I got you close and kinda hoping that one day we'll get the rhythm of it Yeah, cause no one knows if we're just jumping out the window to Sydney, Australia Admirably known to be the City of Fireworks, home to the legendary Sydney Opera House as well as the Sydney Harbour Bridge. And after this travel series, it now deservedly has our hearts. My husband and I fell in love with this beautiful city and all it has to offer. A trip, better yet, a story of a lifetime filled with art, colour, adventure, passion and romance. And we're so happy to share this story with you on our Sydney Australia travel series.